Hey guys, back with another read aloud. Today we're gonna read The Little Red Caboose. And yesterday we read Under the Grapevine. Today we're gonna read In Front of the Fishing Pond. So, a little change of scenery. So The Little Red Caboose, we're gonna learn about how this little red caboose feels about always being last. So just like in line, how we have a caboose in line and that means you're the last person, we're gonna feel how this little red caboose feels always being last in line of the train. So let's find out. The little red caboose. The Little Red Caboose, story by Marion Potter, pictures by Tibor Gurgley. The Little Red Caboose always came last. First came the big black engine, puffing and chuffing. Then came the box cars. Then the oil cars. Then the coal cars. Then the flat cars. Sometimes they were switched around in different ways. But the little red caboose always came last. Boys and girls waved at the big black engine. They listened to the box cars and the oil cars and the coal cars and the flat cars go clickety clack. An onomatopoeia word, clickety clack. Remember, onomatopoeia word means it's a sound word. But by the time the little red caboose came along, the boys and girls were turning away because the little red caboose always came last. How do you think that he feels that he's not seen by the little boys and girls? They're always turning away before the little red caboose comes up. Oh, smoke, said the little red caboose. I wish I were a flat car or a coal car or an oil car or a box car so boys and girls would wave at me. How I wish I were a big black engine, puffing and chuffing way up at the front of the train. But I'm just a little old red caboose. Nobody cares for me. Uh-oh, how do you think he's feeling? How is our character feeling right now? That's right, I think he's feeling kind of sad and lonely. One day, the train started up a mountain. Up went the big black engine. Up went the box cars. Up went the oil cars. Up went the coal cars. Up went the flat cars. Up went the little red caboose. See, they're all going up the mountain. Hang on tight, little caboose, called the flat car. This is a long, tall mountain, and you are the last car on the train. Don't I know it, sighed the little red caboose. Poor me. So he's kind of feeling sad and lonely and kind of upset about being the last car on the train. The train went slower and slower and slower. Soon, it was hardly moving. It looked as if the train could not get up the mountain. Look out, little caboose, called the flat car. The train is starting to slip back down this long, tall mountain. Not if I can help it, said the little red caboose and he slammed on his brakes and he held tight to the tracks and he kept that train from sliding down the mountain. Then, boom! The little red caboose felt something push him from behind. It was two black engines. 
they pushed the train up to the top of the mountain. We couldn't have done it, said the big black engines, if it had not been for the little red caboose. Everyone cheered, and the little red caboose nearly burst with pride. So pride means that he is very proud of what he did. So at the beginning of the story, he was feeling sad and lonely, and now he's bursting with pride, which means he's very proud. Now children wave at the big black engine and at all the cars. But they save their biggest waves for the little red caboose because the little red caboose saved the train. So I want you to think about how our character, the little red caboose, he changed his feelings in the story. At the beginning of the story, he was feeling really sad and lonely and upset. But by the end of the story, something happened. There was a problem and the little red caboose came up with the solution and it made him proud and happy about what he did. And it also showed the people that even if you are the smallest, you may be in the back of the line, but you are just as important as the rest of the line. Without that little red caboose, the train wouldn't have been saved. So just think about that, okay? No matter where you stand in line, you are important to the line. You are important. Okay, so now that we've gone over the little red caboose's feelings, what do you think we need to do now? That's right, go take your AR test. <laughs>